Hi everyone, welcome back. I've decided finally that we're going on an adventure and we've decided that you're coming with us. So that must mean that he is with us. He is in the car pretending not to look at the camera. Driving. Mm, yeah, that's what he always says. He's still a bit camera shy. So we are going over to Boshiston. It's about 20 minutes from where we live. Mm -hmm. But you've got to drive there. Um, it's really, really nice. It's man-made, like, lily ponds. Um, it's just a really beautiful walk. So we thought that we would take you over there. We've got to do some photos for Herbalife as well at some point. So we have the GoPro, my vlogging camera, and the big camera. So I've put the GoPro on my bag strap so that I can just sort of have that as we're trundling along and then I can put little clips in of everything so that I'm not vlogging the whole way around but so that you guys can still see it. So uh, yeah, we'll show you when we get there. Hi everyone, we're here. So we've just um, parked the car um, and a very nice person gave us their members ticket so we didn't have to buy a ticket either because it's £1.50 for three hours but any more than that is like a fiver and I'm stingy and I ain't paying that. So, um, yeah. But yeah, we are here. It's absolutely beautiful. They've put a one-way system in place now because of COVID, which I'm actually really happy about. But the only problem is, it's the opposite way to which we normally walk. Um, so I feel like I'm going backwards. But never mind, needs must. But um, I'll show you some of the spots. And as I said, we've got the GoPro on the backpack. I've got Rob. Say hi Rob. Hello. And he's got the big camera too. So we can take some really nice shots down here and um, just have a little bit of fun. my butt. It's not fair. This is why we don't give him a camera. I absolutely love this place. It's like one of my favourite places in the world. Because if you come here any earlier, it's like a tourist central. And as it's one of my favourite places on earth, I don't like coming here when there's so many people that I can't walk or stop or look at anything in particular. So don't get me wrong, I know with where we live we need tourists, but they drive me batty. I think they drive everyone batty, especially Domino's delivery drivers. part-time Domino's delivery drivers. They drive them very batty. Oh, 
see the top of like this bit all here all of that you actually walk along that top bridge so we'll get some photos and some videos from the top up there so that you can actually see down over the lily ponds um but we did come at a good time because there's so many lilies now that are out and open it's just it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful there aren't any words really and i just love the colors of the greens and stuff over here i know i'm a bit weird but you get used to me it's an acquired taste but rob and i sometimes do this walk at night as well and um when i say at night it's not even like early evening or anything it's like 10 11 o'clock at night where it's pitch black and we're walking along this stupid little path and I always feel like I'm going to die even though I have a, like a torch with me so um, we've said now while we're out and about that next time we do I will bring the vlogging camera and um, we'll bring you with us and you can sort of see then how how scared I get at every rustle of a leaf or like just everything. Everything freaks me out when we're on that walk. I'm drinking beer at the next one. Rob always drinks beer, so I always have to drive. Um, and it is, it is lovely. Oh my gosh, there's swans, look at these. Look how beautiful they are. Absolutely love swans. They're just like so perfect. Absolutely love it. These ones are nice. They don't sort of fight so much. But the ones at the mill ponds down by us, they're really like feisty. And they all sort of fight and stuff like that. And it freaks me out. And then Tic Tac goes really close to the edge and like barks at them. And then the swans like hiss and flap their wings and look like they're gonna eat him because he's that small. So yeah, um, like we were saying, so yeah, Rob always has a beer or two. He puts and sticks them in his pockets and then when they're empty, he moans that they're empty, but he's still got to carry the bags <laughs> with them in. <laughs> um, but yeah, so next time we do do a night, a night walk, we'll bring you guys along with us. And like I say, I'll stick a camera to the tripod and um, you can see everything then. It is good fun. Um, but Rob always teasing me about bats. I'm petrified of stuff like that. So like even if we ever went back to Disney, I would never be able to do like a Halloween Horror Nights or something. Even though they don't touch you, I'd still proper freak out by it. So there's just no point. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just not worth it. But um, no, I've completely digressed now. So yeah, next time we come, <laughs> next time we come over here and it's like a really nice day, a uh, nice evening, we'll bring you guys with us and we'll uh, we'll have a little bit of fun in the dark. I keep feeling like I'm walking away and leaving him behind. Oh, there's huge steps too. It's not all just flat. I like flat. think on the GoPro we're gonna just get loads of shots of like my hair hitting the camera mind but never mind it's the thought that counts and we're thinking about it but no this is a wicked walk it is lush it's just nice getting out and about after being stuck in the kitchen all day on the computer typing away so yeah Coming up to the beach now, this is really pretty. It's just so nice, isn't it? That was me asking you, by the way. <laughs> it 
in the winter there's like loads of water coming through here and it runs through really fast under the bridge down there and if you're not careful you get soaked but we're not going to the beach today Rob and I aren't massive fans of sand but this is one of Tic Tac's favourite places to go absolute favourite places so we've just come out of that little the little bit here and you can walk down and across the bridge and this is the beach it's just absolutely beautiful like, it's so breathtaking where we live we're so lucky and then you go this way and there's a robert yeah that sign tells us to go that way So someone's moved a sign or it's been put back wrong. So the sign at the beginning of the walk, guys, as you saw, shows to go the way we've come. But then it's now saying to go back that way when there's the rest of this walk and this is the way we're going. Which sounds really bad, but... Ah, oh, no, it's been moved. It's definitely been moved. It should be over there. If it was over there, it would be up. pointing this way, so which would be right. Yeah. We'll just be rebels and ignore the sign instead of moving it like normal people. Let's go! Breaking laws! Half jokes, not really. Rob's over there taking some nice big shots for me. We've just done some hair life shots as well. I'm pretending to be a model, which I'm nowhere near model material, to be fair. But I am the face. I'm the face of our business anyway, so I'm the face that you get. <laughs> Sucks to be you guys! Because I'm living with my face. You guys have got to look at it. But, you are babe? You're hungry? Oh god, he's hungry and I forgot snacks. Rookie mistake on my part. He always gets hungry when we're out. I didn't bring a protein bar. He's so hungry he's gonna starve out here. Did you put both the bottles back in my bag? Will you check? My bag doesn't seem right. No, I didn't take any bottles. Bag check. Oh, yeah, please, let's yeah. Cool. I can't be bothered to lose them, guys. I don't feel like this is the way we came. Oh. Two Pembrokeshire people get lost in the hills at Boshiston. And I think the GoPro has just run out of battery or memory card. One or the other. I don't know, last time I used that one was when we were in Florida. Three years ago. I don't know what's happened since then. I've slept since then, guys.
Howard's dick. Living in the life of the clocks, guys. Fun time. This is one of the bridges I was on about, guys. And the sign saga continues. We are approaching another sign. This sign proves that the other sign had been moved. And the arrow is pointing left. Oh, we can't go down to the thingy bridge. Do you know that really big arch bridge? Yeah, there, I wanted to go down there, guys, and we can't. Up the hill we go. So we've just got home I'm so sorry the camera battery ran out and um, I've just had to go and put that on charge now um, so yeah we had a really really nice walk around Boscheston I'm super pumped that I was able to bring you guys with us so I'm hoping to get that video up as soon as possible and then following that one there should be um, another vlog on um, sort of like the meals that I make throughout the week so I'm hoping to get that one up as well for you as soon as possible. I'm hoping to get it up not long after this one, if I'm honest. Um, I just want to say thank you for still sharing this journey with me. I know I have been a bit flaky, especially over lockdown, and then getting used to having an, a job where I'm working from home. I've never worked from home in my life. So it has taken a lot of... Um, it's, it's just taken a lot for me to, to sort of be able to focus on that really and, and wrap my head around it all and I know that there's a lot of people that are still having to do the same also so I know it's not just me so shout outs to everybody that has to work from home because honest to God I don't know how people do it. Um, I am I'm absolutely loving it. I love being home with the dog. I love just being at home in general but I do sometimes find it very difficult separating my work and my home life so um yeah hats off to everybody and hats off to everybody that is still going out to work during a, a pandemic because fair play to you all you all need medals i think um but anyway this is the end of this vlog for today if you have enjoyed it please hit like make sure you subscribe and if you can please hit that notification bell so that you know when my next vlogs come on that would be absolutely amazing much love from me and Rob. Um, I know that you don't always see much of him, but I'm hoping, you know, as time goes by, he will get a bit more used to it because I have some fun things planned for in the future, but I do need my sidekick. So, uh, yeah, speak to you all soon, guys. Bye!